Hello everyone, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. Data protection is very important whenever we are working with the data. We should not allow any unauthorized users to use the data and for that we have to apply certain policies as well as certain sensitivity labels. In Power BI we have data protection method as well and in data protection we have sensitivity labels. So in order to apply the sensitivity label we can create sensitivity level in O365 compliance center and then we can apply in Power BI desktop as well as Power BI services. So in order to apply the sensitivity levels, first we have to create the sensitivity levels in O365 compliance center and then we have to apply certain policies over there. If you are not aware about what are the sensitivity levels, I have already created a video about the sensitivity levels and you can watch that video. I'll provide the link in the description section as well as somewhere above so you can find that and you can check that out. But this video is specifically for how to create the sensitivity labels for Power BI. Sensitivity labels are a very powerful method to apply the data sensitivity or data protection for your own data, your own organizational data. And for that, you should always keep in mind that you should apply those sensitivity labels to your report, dashboard, data sets, as well as to your data flows. First of all, let me show you how to create the sensitivity labels in Power BI. So enough all the talking, let's get started. Currently I'm on my Power BI services. You have to log in the very first time. You are gonna apply the sensitivity label or you need to create the sensitivity label. You can directly log in into Microsoft Compliance Center or if you don't want to go there, so what you can do, you will come over there, you will see this gearing icon over here. Click on this and go to admin portal. Under the admin portal, you will see there is a tenant settings. So under the tenant settings, we have the sensitivity labels or the data protection. So we will go over there. And once you will scroll down over here, you will see this information protection. So information protection where you can apply your sensitivity labels. If you haven't created already the sensitivity labels for your organization here, you will get a chance to create them. So I'm going to just show you how to do that. So here, once I click on this, you can see that I have already enabled for my tenant the sensitivity labels. But before that, there are some prerequisite steps that you must follow before applying the sensitivity label. So let's click on this one. And once you will click, you will see the prerequisite steps of the sensitivity label is that you should uh, have a Azure uh, information protection license. If you don't have that, you need to get that ASAP. I'm going to show you soon how to get that too. But uh, this is the primary requirement. If you don't have the information protection license from the Azure that comes with the different uh, EOs like P1, P2 something, and then you should have it. If you would like to see the licensing requirement and the pricing for this, what you can do, you can come over here and you see the licensing and requirements. You need the Azure Information Protection Pricing and you can click over here. Once you will click, it would reroute you to another page where you will see information protection and there are the different plans as well as the different features over here and you can select according to your requirement. You will get certain more information, Azure information protection for Office 365, Azure information protection for premium, which is just $2 and then Azure protection premium two for $5 and all. So here it's saying that Power BI uses Microsoft information protection sensitivity labels. Thus, if you encounter an error message when you are trying to enable sensitivity labels, uh, it might be due to one of the following reasons. First, you do not have an Azure information protection license. So for that, you can just click on this and you can go over there. I'll provide you all the links in the description section so that you won't have any problem while setting up the sensitivity labels. Secondly, sensitivity labels have not been migrated to Microsoft Information Protection version supported by Power BI. So you should also keep this in mind. And thirdly, no Microsoft Information Protection sensitivity labels have been defined in your organization. So if your organization haven't defined any kind of sensitivity label, so you cannot 
So the definition part we are going to do in this video where I'm going to show you how to create those sensitivity labels and definitely uh, after that you can apply them easily. So now let's get back to the point where I'm going to show you how to create it. Over here you will see visit the M365 Compliance Center. So you will come over here M365 or O365 it's more or like the same. So you would come over here and you can see on my right hand side panel there is a tab which is saying sensitivity labels and over here I have already created two. One is any user that means there is no protection like the management data and all so anyone can use that but second is the highly confidential. So which means that only authorized users should be able to see that data. So the very first if you would like to create any uh, of the sensitivity label so you have to come over here after coming over here you have to click on create a label you can provide your name then your display name description to users and description for admins all those things you have to provide so let's start with the demo display name would be confidential so that's the beauty of these sensitivity labels. You can provide them the free text. That means any readable text for the user so that business users also can easily understand this. I'm providing these different text over here. Please apply this for restricted data. So these are just the sample text that I have just provided over here but you can change according to your requirement. Now the second point comes where do you want to apply these sensitivity labels, files and emails or Azure purview. So these are some of the options that you can click over here and for this I don't need the Azure purview so I'm gonna go next. In the next again it's saying that uh, uh, what kind of accesses you want to apply. Over here you will see that uh, what kind of protection settings you want to apply for your files and emails. So according to that you can choose it. So I'll choose the first one and then you will see the uh, two options are over here that remove encryption if the file is already encrypted or configure encryption settings. So I'll say that uh, I really don't need any of these but if you think it's important you can go with that and you can learn more after clicking on this. I'll go next. And here is saying auto labeling for files and emails. So either it can be auto labeling or you cannot say auto labeling. You can just go manually, but let's say auto labeling. And under the auto labeling, you have to say detect content that matches these conditions. So you have to provide the what kind of content you want to auto enable this one. So let me take it off but if you would like to do that, you can do it over here for sure. And if you have any question regarding this, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section and I would definitely come forward and I'll help you out. Then uh, groups and sites. So over here you can define if you have any groups and sites where you want to apply and then next is finish. So you can come and finish this one. So now you can see all the information is over here and you can create your label. So once you will hit the create label button over here then it's gonna submit it and after some time you will see that your label has been created like over here you can see it's been created now next step is to publish this label to so users can apply it to their content so you have to publish it and in order to publish again you have to follow certain steps so let's choose this sensitivity label to publish you have to choose it from the list which you want to publish right now i have already published two which i showed you earlier and now you can choose this one so that you can publish the same for all the users within your organization and over here this one was the one which i selected to publish add it and now you need to click next there you can choose the users or groups where you would like to include in this group so here you will get all the user groups in the drop down if you are not getting that means i don't have any right now so as you can see that i don't have any user group over here but i can create if if i would like to create any group and here these are some of my email addresses that i use for my own account so i can include all 
and then I say add so it's gonna publish for these users just say done and now we have to click on next here these are the policy settings so you have to also create a policy before proceeding further with the sensitivity labels and policy is going to define like what kind of user should use this or what kind of file or data that should be enabled with these sensitivity labels so over here you say that uh, it's saying you can choose to have a default label mandatory label or required or require users to justify actions on their end so there are certain options available user must provide justification to remove a label requires the users to apply label to their email or document and provide users with a link to a custom page so if you want to uh, provide any custom link to the users that they where they can see certain more information like in organization generally we have those kinds of pages so we can use that but let's uh, do not use this one next and here you can provide the name of your policy what is your policy name and you can say that okay it's uh, confidential data policy and description you can provide over here do not expose data to outside customers users and then you can review your settings so this is gonna be your policy for this kind of uh, label and now just submit this again it's gonna take a couple of seconds one once it's gonna done then you will see that your policy has been created so we have already published our labels we have created the policy so now we have to just click on done and over here it's taking some time and so you can see my uh, confidence sensitivity level is over there i can refresh it if i would like to and then under the policies also you should get two policies now i have one earlier which i created which is my bp data protection policy and second one is confidential data protection policy that i have created that means i have now created the sensitivity labels in my m365 compliance center and i have published them i have created all the necessary steps that were required to but please before creating them you should go to each of the steps carefully and only then you can do that Once we have created our uh, sensitivity labels, now we can move back to our Power BI service. So now I'm on my Power BI service here under the information protection and you can see over here that I have already enabled it. If it's not enabled, you have to enable and then you can choose whether you want to apply this for entire organization or just for specific security group also you can uh, apply this entire uh, entire organization except specific security group so that's option also available over here and then you just need to hit this apply button and you are good to go once it's done it's saying that it would take up to 15 minutes to publish these things but generally it turns soon not that long so let me go and check whether we have these sensitivity labels or not and first of all we will try to create a sensitivity label on a data set and a report so for that i'll come over here under my demo workspace under demo workspace whenever you will see this you have to uh, whenever you are looking at your report you have to go to your settings click on settings and under settings you will see there is a sensitivity label uh, appearing over here this is the text which you would uh, see under this panel and then you will find all of your sensitivity labels over here so right now uh, i can apply any of none any user protection highly confidential or confidential so let's go with the highly confidential right now or uh, let's go with the confidential because we just created it and we'll see whether i have provided the sufficient information for that or not so apply this it's being applied over there and now you can see under sensitivity level confidential highly confidential any user i have applied so many and we can do the same for our uh, data set as well so let's see this report uh, here the da100 series episode 11 i have applied the confidential and the same i want to apply over there for its uh, data set but it's not necessary that you apply the same sensitivity level for the reports or for the data set you can apply the different as well even you can apply this sensitivity level to your dashboards and your data flows as well so you can come over here again go to settings and in under the settings you will find 
a sensitivity label tab over here and there you can either change it or you can keep this uh, remaining the same so let's keep it same so that you have two different exposures over here and you can get to know let's go back to our workspace now i'm in my demo workspace and here we are going to try our newly created sensitivity level that we have applied to this report and its data set so here you can see that my report name is ta 100 series episode 11 and sensitivity level that i have applied is confidential let's click on this one or you can just click on these three dots over here and click analyze in excel it will take a couple of seconds for this file to get downloaded and here my file has been downloaded let's double click on this one it should ask me permission to authorize myself in order to view the content so let it get open now you can see that it's saying it's highly confidential and also it's a protected view so i need to enable this here first i need to enable the editing let me enable it now you can see i have enabled the editing but i cannot see my model or my fields over here let's enable the content and the lastly we have to see view permission so this is the one which is gonna stop unauthorized user to view or to look into your data so let's click ok and now you can see it's asking me for my authorization so once i'll authorize it only then i can view my data over it so let me enter my email address over there here since i have already authenticated myself using my password and my email address now you can see i have all the fields over here which i can use drag and drop and i can start working on my file or i can start analyzing in excel so that's all you need to do so that was the way that you can create the sensitivity label how to get the license and how to work on it last thing that i would like to highlight over here if you would like to see the protection metrics as well you can go again to your admin portal and uh, second last you will see the protection metrics here you will get the overall dashboard for your protection metrics like what is uh, how many dashboards are there reports are there and on which you have applied these security settings like your sensitivity labels and if you would like to see last seven days last 30 days last 90 days you will get all the data over here and you can export as well if you would like to or you can use the audit data to audit uh, this uh, information so guys i hope you really like today's video and if you have any question concerns so please do let us know and comment in the comment section and don't forget to join me on my live speaking sessions where you will get a lot of opportunity to interact with me and you can also take the advantage of the other speakers as well don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates